All right, sports fans, how's everybody out there doing? William Martin coming at you one more time here on YouTube with another edition of the 300 Pounds of Sports Knowledge Podcast. Now, it took the Los Angeles Dodgers 32 years to end their World Series championship drought as they won the Fall Classic in 2020. But now they are trying to make sure that they don't have to wait another 32 years to claim more championship gold. Why? Because yesterday we saw the Dodgers and starting pitcher Trevor Bauer come to an agreement on a three-year deal for $102 million. Now, Bauer is the reigning NL Cy Young Award winner after he posted a 5-4 and four record with a 1.73 earned run average and two complete game shutouts last year in the condensed season as a member of the Cincinnati Reds. Now, now, now putting Bauer with the Dodgers, they no doubtably have one of the best rotations in the National League. As you're going to see Bauer, Walker, Bueller, Clayton Kershaw, and even possibly David Price uh, come back for 2021 as the Dodgers are looking once again very formidable. And make no mistake about it. I know that it's all about power pitching right now. I know it's all about analytics right now in Major League Baseball. But at the end of the day, you can never have enough power, uh, solid arms. It always comes down to pitching. I don't care how much hitting you have. You still have to be able to pitch and get people out. And now for Bauer, this is a guy that he's going to be in the spotlight. I mean, we've seen him before with the Cleveland Indians, but now he's in a big market. He's 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 in, uh, going to L.A. He's a Southern California guy. And, you know, it's going to be interesting to see how things pan out for him. I mean, his ERA last season really does not compare to what it was throughout his career it was, as it was much higher than what we saw last year. And, you know, typically we see players that will have a big time season just before they hit free agency. Uh, Bauer was looking to get a long term deal. He got a three year deal, uh, which is still, you know, pretty good based on the fact that he is a 30 year old pitcher. Uh, but you know what? Now he's going to go out there and now he's going to be uh, expected to uh, produce in a big time uh, environment. You look at the team that lost out on him in the New York Mets and it came down to the Dodgers and the Mets. And, you know, it, it looked like the Mets really had the inside track to get it done, but they simply didn't did not. And for me, from an outsider's perspective, I look at it from the Mets and I could see a situation where maybe the Mets we're willing to pony up the bread for one year, but maybe not the three years, because let's be realistic with the Mets. They're looking at giving outfielder Michael Conforto a solid extension, and he's going to command a decent salary. I don't think it's going to be a break the bank salary, but a decent salary uh, nonetheless. The Mets also now have some financial flexibility. Uh, to go out there and make some other moves, whether they're going to, you know, pick up a veteran outfielder such as Jackie Bradley Jr. Not saying that's going to be the guy, but somebody in that realm. Also, maybe possibly some more bullpen help. But make no mistake about it, the Mets still have a solid starting rotation, which is led by two-time NL Cy Young Award winner Jacob DeGrom. So I don't think the Mets are really gonna sit back and you know sh you know shed a lot of tears over this it would have been nice from the Mets perspective to get Bauer but they still have financial flexibility uh going forward you ask yourself did the Dodgers overpay in getting Bauer and it's one of those I think this is going to be one of those high risk high reward scenarios as far as a contract goes we've seen the Dodgers over the past 10 years or so they are not afraid to spend money and you know especially coming off of a world series championship after being so close for so many years the Dodgers are saying hey we still want to go out there and get this thing done the Dodgers uh helped to solidify their rotation they still have one of the better lineups in baseball I know that they lost uh Jock Peterson and Kike Hernandez and free agency but you still have the likes of Cody Bellinger Corey Seager and of course Mookie Betts in that Dodgers lineup so they're once again going to be formidable the National League West just opened up a lot more because we saw Nolan Arenado be traded from the Colorado Rockies to the St. Louis Cardinals this week so you have a situation where you know what the Dodgers ain't going away in the NL, NL West it's been their division for the longest time it is going to once again be their division for um for 2021 and now they're putting the parameters in place 
to, you know, not only take care of their business in the regular season, but let's see how much damage they can do now in October. And like I said before, this is what this comes down to. You can never have enough arms, especially out there in October. The Dodgers know this. Um, so, you know, they're they're putting a guy like Bauer in that rotation to add more depth. And you know what? It's kind of like pick your poison, uh, you know, because anything can happen in a short series, but it comes down to those arms. So I like the move. From the Dodgers standpoint, they went out there and got Bauer. You know, they paid the money, but it's not an overwhelmingly long contract. It's only three years. And, you know, the Dodgers are looking at it and saying, hey, we want to go out there and we want to give ourselves the best possible chance to repeat as World Series champions. And that is exactly what they've done. Not saying that Trevor Bauer is going to go out there and have a sub two ERA like he did last year for the Reds. Uh, I do think, though. He won't fold under the pressure, being that, you know, he's a Southern California guy. And I think in his heart of hearts, he wanted to play in Southern California. Um, I really thought that the Angels would have made a bigger push to get Bauer, being that they are so desperate for starting pitching right now. And of course, they are also a Southern California team, but that not that was not the case. But make no mistake about it. It was a good signing for the Dodgers. I think Trevor Bauer will fit right into their rotation. I think he will have an immediate impact on this team. And I think the Dodgers are ready on all cylinders to go back there and make a serious push to repeat as World Series champions in 2021. So, folks, that is going to wrap it up. And as always, I want to take this time out to thank you for tuning into the 300 Pounds of Sports Knowledge Podcast. I want to take this time out to thank all of the subscribers out there for tuning in. And if you have not already, please feel free to subscribe to this channel. Now, if you're on Twitter, please feel free to follow me at 300 Pounds of Sports. And like I always say, if you follow me, it will be my pleasure to follow you right back. There is also the Sports Discussion Group on Facebook at the Sports Depot 365. You can check it out, drop a line, and be a part of one of the better sports debating sites going on social media. So once again, fine folks, my name is William Martin. Take care and have yourselves a wonderful day.